Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. Now in my last episode I covered why you want to use Visual C++ and I explored some of the warnings that it can generate that other compilers just aren't quite as good at. And I thought that in this episode maybe I'll give you my favorite pet peeve of Visual C++ and some of the issues that it's caused in portability with code that I've been working on. So if you were to take a struct, it's not going to do a whole lot. And for some reason we want to be able to pass a non-const reference to this struct to our function do something. Now obviously if we were to create an object of this type and call do something and pass it s, this works fine on every compiler. We can see here with Clang, GCC, and Visual Studio there's obviously no error in this code. But if we were to instead say that we wanted to call do something with a value of s that was initialized of type s that was initialized on the stack so it's a temporary then we get these errors on gcc and clang that say you cannot bind a non-const l value reference to type s reference of an r value of type s basically you cannot use a non-const reference to a temporary in C++. It's just simply not allowed. For better or for worse, the standard doesn't allow this. Now, Visual Studio does allow this. And we can see we don't have any warnings turned on yet. Let's start turning them up. Warning level 1, no warnings. Warning level 2, no warnings. 3, we turn the warnings all the way up to 4 before we start to get any warning here. So this is both an example of where Visual C++ can allow non-standard behavior in your C++ program and could cause portability issues, and an example of why you really need to have your warnings turned all the way up on all the compilers that you have, because even though this is non-standard behavior, we can still convince the compiler to generate a warning about it. And this has actually bitten me in um, cross-platform code, where in the, this particular case, there's sometimes cases where the thing that you're passing to your function as a non-const reference is actually a container of another thing that you're mutating, so you don't think about the fact that you're passing a non-const reference to it. And you kind of get into this issue where like you're doing the correct thing because you created a temporary on the stack, but it doesn't do what you expected it to do necessarily. So there you have it. This is my favorite pet peeve of Visual C++. I am looking forward to the day that when they disable this in their standards conformance switches that they are adding. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.